We're going to see how these two play up against each other. Fighter Soul got a, uh, I think a set count against him, right? It was a 4-2. So, looks like the advantage definitely on his side. But Skeldra, you know, maybe uh, playing like a new beast oh. right now. Oh, this, that was a great turnaround. Fighter Soul saying, I'm the original string weapon mm -hmm. user with this scythe here. Okay, but Skeldra now on the sword or the lightsaber. <laughs> All right. Just kind of controlling stage there. Very patient, yeah. Just kind of waiting for anything that you could get a whiff punish on. I like that, just coming down with the throw. And Skeldra not going for Greatsword, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I feel like they normally opt for that, but just trying to keep the pressure on on the ledge. Try to soul. Oh, He's got to do the mental damage first if hearing those lightsaber sounds hit. <laughs> so like if that, after we get a enough of the mental damage done, then he'll swap over to the great sword. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh. Uh oh, okay. Nice double down here to get back into, uh, oh, back onto the stage. See, now if he went into force, he would have got that stock. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and Skeldra just not going oh. for, okay. Great sword. Classic starter bridge into finisher by Skeldra. I'm, I, I don't know what Fratisol did over there on the right side. It looked like he did down stake, but it was like maybe over the edge, so he ended up being in the same spot. Uh, either way, yeah, he ends up losing that stock first, and now Skeldra, this is where yeah, things can get a little scary. You're trying to get back onto the stage against against a ground-based weapon. Does uh -huh. manage to find himself a stray Sare, though, and he does get that stock out of there. Gonna wait uh, just a little bit, get that uh, orb, or get a little weapon starve going. Yeah, Skeldra, pretty confident without his weapon there. Okay, now finally getting back on the great sword. Oh, Fridasol, nice little recovery from Skeldra. <laughs> that, that was a hard read right there. <laughs> just, he said, Don't jump up here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, throwing off the stage one more time. Did not get the, the, uh, mm -hmm. the down light to go ahead and extend that extension, but all right. So yeah, the, the gameplay that Skeldra is going for with the ledge trapping, much more common than like the Bamia style where you just kind of go out there and like swing on the on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh. Okay. Can't try to get a shot in there. Charged a little longer though, so he did get the, uh, the rifle shot instead of the uh, shotgun shot. Either way, getting a, a right. lot of these down, uh, down airs are hitting. Throw them away from the stage one more oh. time, and yet yeah, really just close access. That was a very, very wide weapon toss. He had no more, uh, he sweat beaten anyway. But yeah, if, if he tried to dodge into the stage, he would have got hit anyway, mm -hmm. regardless. So very smart weapon throw from Fridasol. Looking good here in wow. this first game. I feel like both of them are playing quite well with unarmed. Just no fear, really. Okay. Nice dodge nice. through into the D-Light Sare. Uh, Classic confirm from Skeldra. I think Skeldra might be better off on his uh his regular sword right now though. I, yeah, that's what I was so. noticing too. Like, yeah, because like it seems like while you know you want to see him on the great sword, uh, I feel like he's just definitely done more on the regular sword so far uh, in this match. It's starting to get a couple hits here on the great sword though, so maybe he's uh, oh. kind of acclimated to it yet and again. The great sword vortex uh -oh. incoming. Okay, but nice by Friday Soul throwing it down. Mm. <laughs> Quick little swap. I like that a lot. Okay, yeah, he is trying to catch okay. him for sure. <laughs> Pressing buttons or at least, uh, oh, what are we doing down here? Okay, he was able to get back back up to the stage. I thought he was going to get down here, but luckily he was able to get that recovery. And now we're still fighting to see another day. Now, okay. Yeah. Great from Skeldra. Avoiding the reversal attempts by Fridasol by the ledge. Scythe players love to just scoop you up while you're by the edge there. So, yeah, well played. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was running out of time there at the edge, too. You saw him actually starting to get a lot of uh, the exclamation marks. So the wall slip was coming through. Mm -hmm. He had to get back up on that stage and Skeldra with the perfect call out yep. with that neutral save. Good anti air mm -hmm. there. Um, but yeah. Looking at these. Oh my god, that's a really accurate Skeldra. Or wait, no, the he threw out a lot. He wasn't accurate. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm getting my numbers mixed up. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. He he was I mean 74, 36. Uh, yeah, they're they're about that. Uh, that's decent. That's yeah, decent. yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, like the the it looked like, surprisingly he did more damage on the uh Great on sword. The Great sword, but what? I thought he was doing it looked like, you know, just from the from watching, it looked like he was doing a lot more damage on the uh, regular sword. I, I Looks guess like we're the, to the next match, though, right? Is that what's oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the sword hits seemed more consequential. Yeah. Like, it, it was less damage, but there, it was important damage. I think he probably also got a decent amount of stocks on sword more, uh, yeah. too. So. Good. I mean, a, a good split. So it looks like he's doing well on both of his right. weapons. But uh, as of right now, yeah, Fry, 
Fry mainly doing well on the Scythe, mm -hmm. and, and I think I like the Nooch here. I mean, just playing in zones that I think Greatsword can be uncomfortable in, like that diagonal mm -hmm. that where they can't get the uh, string started on the ground, and then also playing pretty well against the Sword. Oh, okay, yeah, gotta cover his head. I like that recovery. It actually gets around, gets himself a punish too, but has to get pushed back onto the stage. Ooh. Nice, okay. The Orb sure you right there. Neutral say gonna catch him on the way down. Very, uh, very quick move. Definitely gotta respect its, uh, its space. Just throwing it in his face. Skeldrick going for no buttons. Okay. Skeldrick just looking for the knockout confirm here. Uh, Bridasol is in red. Seer, not gonna do it. Okay. Nice recovery. Oh. Okay, yeah, it yeah. looked like he tried to get a lot of results. I think he started his ground pound, yeah. but it didn't come out in time, so he just gets recovered off the top. Still like the idea, though. Just in case Skeldra did try to step back a little bit, you might have caught him by surprise. Skeldra now, though. Looking at, looking at these Friday Soul zones, okay, finally Skeldra manages to get something, but doing a super good job of just not letting Skeldra get anything started. Okay, wait. Friday Soul definitely has an idea out here. He really wants to get one of these ground pounds to hit. Have two different uh, situations where he was look for, uh, look for it, but wasn't able to get the full uh, combo off that. I like the idea though. Bounce off the wall, go for the ground pound, send him down as far as hard as possible. Uh oh, sweat beaten. Had to put I had to put something out there like that down air to go ahead and put a hitbox in front of him as he's uh, going back to the stage. Okay, another recovery that's gonna seal it for Skeldra. And I feel like those swords are really good at dealing with the orb down air zone that um, Fridasol has been. Uh, choosing a lot versus the great sword, mm -hmm. and it's just like great conditioning from Skeldra. Ooh. Uh oh, okay. Wait, how, what are we doing? How we got to get back to the stage from both sides? Saw some sweat beads coming out from Fry. Look, still looks for that down air though. Man said, "I'm not afraid." Whoa! Try to call out a dodge towards the wall there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Dodge back. Had to get out of that situation and still find his way back to the stage too. Good uh, awareness right there from Skeldra. That could have been. Aminent Doom if we found that side air uh, okay. that far to, uh, close to the blast zone. Just finishing the, the string there. Ooh. Full Rekka. Oh, great from Fry. All right, Fry, once again, trying to keep kind of trying to keep himself alive. But Skelter's got a very, very big lead right here. And I think we're setting up, yep, for the neutral six. He can start looking for those. As he <laughs> immediately is like, you're right, I'm looking for both of them. <laughs> nice toss right there. Go ahead and take that game, the side or the downright side air, and then the weapon toss can do it up for him. Great uh, commentator's blessing there. I love it when that happens. It's like, they're probably looking for this. Just happens multiple times in a row. He's like, I need I need this for sure. It's, I mean, uh, it's a very good thing. It's sometimes, uh, sometimes kind of hard to punish as well, too. That's what you saw uh, he got there. So, yeah, he okay. went for a sidelight side air instead of a downlight side air. Okay. Mm, lots of damage being done by Skeldra there. And, yeah, but similar accuracy. Um, 30, 29 but way more light attacks coming out from Skeldra. Mm -hmm. um, that's usually good if you can dictate the pace of the match so that you're not getting whiff punished as much for the light attacks, but you're still like throwing out a lot of them. Um, that's that's solid. Yeah, I think he's holding he's holding out a lot of space too. You know, again with the way that uh, he's using the great sword, he was starting the I think the neutral bridge. And so it was like a little anti-air swing. He would like slide in and do that. Mm -hmm. And so he was kind of just forcing Friday Soul to stay in the air the entire time. Yeah. Uh, which, why you're going to see him swing a lot more. But again, you're playing a, a, a stringing a bridge weapon as well, too. So every time he does get a hit, he's probably going to throw out a couple more. Yeah. And l again, like last match, we have more damage coming out from the sword. Um, but like the ability of Skeldra to shift up his play style and be like, okay, you're avoiding some of the ranges that Great Sword is really good at. I'm good with Sword too. I can just hit you with the Sword. Mm -hmm. That's that's the sign of a top player, and that's ultimately what has been winning in these games. Okay, looks like we got a swap over here to the Nimue. So he's gonna swap out his Scythe for the Spear. It was surprising because I feel like the Scythe was working. The Scythe right? was yeah. really was doing was doing it for him. So looks like he's he's gonna try to favor this Orb though. And uh, hey, man, you know you know you know yourself better than we do. So. Hopefully this uh, swap over to the Nimue will bring him uh, some Ws here. We're going to Miami Dome. I think this is a pretty good stage against Great Sword. You just have those really high plats. Mm -hmm. You can kind of avoid uh, Great Sword threat zones and try not to get caught in the loop um, if you play your neutral well enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Three, let's get two, into it. One, for a Great Sword, though, it does have a very, very wide recovery. The, but yeah. the, <laughs> on the inverse is that it's a very slow recovery, so you can 
sometimes pretty much react to it. And hopefully that's something that uh, Friday Soul maybe thought about when he was going to the stage. But let's see what he can do. As he's only dust uh, crossover of Nimue. Okay. Oh, trying to play the oh, oh. <laughs> a little slide off there. I like it. Okay, try to get yeah, try to get cheeky with it. Slide charge reverse at that. Wasn't able to get uh, the actual yeah. hit to go though. Yeah, Friday Soul baiting Skeldra to come out and hit them, and then trying to get like a whip punish. Oh, but Skeldra bursting in. I, I was gonna say I like Skeldra's uh, like patience here of not mm -hmm. really falling for any of these baits, but he did try to go off uh, stage for a second, <laughs> just didn't uh, line it up well enough to get that down there. Ooh, D damage. Light. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. They, I like the way they're willing to still scrap they're their scrapping. way back to the stage as well <laughs> too. Gets the dodge through. And he turns around, tries to get himself a, a a side air. Recovery. Okay. And those dodge throughs have been pretty solid from Skeldra. Okay, try to get a call out there. Another recovery, but Skeldra again dodging and then immediately. Oh, oh. my! He dodged off the stage. <laughs> that was a thank you, thank you. Uh, we had dodged off the stage or chase dodge off the stage and just had no more resources. Mm -hmm. So uh, unfortunate, you know. Getting a little too overzealous. What's good though? Oh, oh, and the taunt back. Oh my God! Skeldra's talking to him. Oh, what? What? Instant taunt. <laughs> Oh man, this is, this is either friends or rivalry, man. One or the other. But this is <laughs> this is this is the type of uh, play I'm trying to see, bro. Back and forth with it. Yes. Okay. Pride Soul with the orbs has been pretty solid against Great Sword with orbs, going for a lot of these down airs. But Skeldra chasing down Fry. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was just out of range. Surprisingly, was able to get uh, the jump far enough away. Going for gravity cancel, I think a uh, neutral sig there. This gets poked down. Mm -hmm. He was out of resources, so yeah, very easy lineup right there for Skeldra. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and push him just uh, too low for him to be able to recover. Setting up that vector mm -hmm. right next to the wall. Very solid. Oh, double recovery. Okay. Uh, down light bridge uh, or finisher right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I got to keep going. Like, <laughs> if, I, if I stop this too early, I am going to get punished. And, yeah, this is looking like a Skelger game for sure. Looks for mm -hmm. a ground pound himself. Looking like a quick 3-0 from Skeldra. Oh, nice. GC. Okay. They're trying to get those anti-airs, but got to the ground Ooh. first. Oh, now the knockout weapon is coming out. Yeah, what's he going to do with it, though? Oh, try to get the double tap of the down light into a, a GC D light, most likely into recovery after that. Wasn't able to get the, uh, the whole thing. Just chilling. Just <laughs> oh! <laughs> Player two wins. All free action. That was so good. He saw the, the GC platform start, and he's like, no, absolutely not. Hold this. Oh, that's a decisive 3-0. Mm -hmm. If you win with a little swag. Oh. They got some taunts in there as well and everything, man. That was, yeah, what's good? Boom.